Hi, friends. So we talked about summarizing this past week. Um, we talked about how a summary is like one quick sentence about what the story was about. We include the most important details, nothing little, only the most important things. I'm going to read questions one through four, and then you're going to do five through eight on your own. Okay. So question one, twin brothers, Don and Ron had a problem. They really wanted to get their mother something awesome for her birthday, but they were broke. She loved going to the theater. At least she told them that she used to go play, go to plays all the time before her job and family took up all of her time. She'd often talked about her favorite plays. Don and Ron would have loved to buy her some theater tickets, but they had zero money. The boys put their heads together and they came up with an idea. The twins went to the public library and they scoured the shelves to find some of the plays their mother had mentioned. They found them and went home and dug through them. They found scenes from each that they could perform with two people. So sweet. They got to work coming up with props and costumes. They practiced memorize, memorizing lines as best as they could, all the way up to their mom's birthday. That night, they sat her down on the couch. The twins presented five scenes for mom, a Ron and Don production. It was amazing. And their mom wept with tears of delight. What is the best summary? Ron and Don wanted to do something really special for their mom's birthday, but they didn't have money. The two sons decided to present their mom with five scenes from some of her favorite plays. She loved the gift. Ron and Don wanted to do something really special for their mom's birthday, but they were lazy and didn't earn any money. The two sons decided to present their mom with five scenes from some of her favorite plays. Ron and Don wanted to do something really special for their mom's birthday. But they didn't have any money. The two sons decided to present their mom with five scenes from some of her favorite plays. They found some plays at the library and spent a lot of time practicing scenes and making props. They even made their own costumes. Their mom really loved the performance. Ron and Don wanted to do something really special for their mom's birthday. But they only had a little bit of money to spend on a gift. The two sons decided to present their mom with five scenes from some of her play favorite plays. She loved the gift. Number two, Ryder didn't know how to ride his new skateboard, but he'd often watch the kids at the skate park flying through the air and wanted to be part of that scene. Everyone there seemed so cool. He brought his skateboard down there and went to the top of a very small ramp. He tried to go down and it went tumbling. Luckily, he had on a helmet and pads, so he wasn't hurt badly. As he sat up, Ryder heard giggling. He had really wanted to fit in here, but he had done the opposite. He picked up his board and ran away. At home, Ryder threw the skateboard into the garage, the garbage can, sorry. But as he started walking away, he stopped himself. He decided that he wasn't going to quit. Instead, he practiced. He rode, his, uh, rode around his neighborhood and gained confidence. And then his brothers helped him build a small ramp in the backyard. Day after day, Ryder skated up and down the ramp, getting higher and higher until he was twirling through the air. Finally, he headed back to the skate park. The same kids who laughed a few months earlier were soon cheering as riders soared through the afternoon sky. What is our best summary? Everyone at the skate park seemed really cool to Ryder. Ryder had a, a helmet and pads so the fall didn't hurt too bad. Ryder decided that instead of quitting, he would practice on the skateboard. Or Ryder's brothers helped him build a small ramp to practice on. Numero tres. This is a long one. When Ariel, Ari, Arlia, mm, I'm going to say Arielia. I'm just going to call her Amanda. I don't know her name. I'm sorry. I'm going to call her Amanda. When Amanda checked her email, her eyes widened. Panic set in. She had gotten the time of her interview wrong. It was an hour earlier than she had thought. She absolutely couldn't be late. She really wanted this job, but she knew that punctuality was something they really valued over at Stereo Kingdom. She really had to move. Luckily, Amanda had already showered and dressed. She looked at the bus schedule she had tacked to the wall, and it told her that the bus wouldn't be an option. Amanda hustled outside and unlocked her bike. She pedaled like mad for the mall. 
She checked her watch when she saw she was halfway there, did some quick math in her head, and she knew she wasn't going to make it unless she took a detour. She had to make a decision. Be late or be dirty. Knowing that the interview would be canceled if she were late, Amanda chose to be dirty. She veered off from the main road and took the muddy path through the woods. Caked in mud, Amanda skidded up to Stereo Kingdom with a minute to spare. Despite her appearance, Amanda impressed Stereo King, Mr. Poole, with her determination, and she got the job. Which of the following summaries has an option opinion that should not be included? Amanda was running late for her interview, but she was determined to make it there on time. She jumped on her bike, pedaled to the mall as fast as she could. Amanda only made it to the interview on time because she took a muddy detour. She was dirty, but she got the job. Amanda had an important interview, but had gotten the wrong time. In order to make it there on time, Amanda had to take a detour through the woods, which left her caked in mud. Amanda did make it on time. She even got the job, despite being muddy. Luckily, Mr. Poole, the boss, didn't have high standards. Amanda misjudged the time on her interview by a whole hour. She rushed down the door and onto her bike. Sorry, rushed out the door and onto her bike. In order to make it to the interview on time, she had to take a path through the muddy woods. Amanda was caked in mud when she arrived at Stereo Kingdom, but she earned herself a new job. And the last one... Amanda was late for her job interview at Stereo Kingdom. The only way that she could possibly make it on time was to take a path through the woods on her bike. She knew that she would be dirty from the ride, but it was the only choice she had. Amanda arrived just in time, but she was covered in mud. Mud. Mr. Poole was impressed with her determination and gave her the job. So which one does not have an opinion that should be in there? Sorry, which one has an opinion in there that should not be? Sorry. And the last one I'm reading for you, you're, it says, which details from the story should be included in a good, good summary? Select all that apply. Valentina was having an, an exceptional day. She earned an A on her history project and landed the lead in the school play. Now, she just had to stop home to grab her soccer uniform and get to the field of the league for the league playoff game. As she was joyfully twirling her keychain around her finger, however, it flew off and right into the sewer grate. The key on the keychain was the only way that Valentina could get into her house, and she really needed that uniform. She was the Mustang star player. Valentina looked through the grate and could see the keychain sitting just a few inches down. She tried to poke her fingers through, but they just couldn't reach. She tried to lift up the grate, but she couldn't budge it. Valentina plopped down on the curb and put her head in her hands. Finally, she looked up and noticed the building across the street, and she had an idea. She ran across to the dry cleaners and asked if they had an old wire hanger she could have. They did. She fashioned the broken hanger into a hook, threaded it through the grate, and carefully extracted her keychain. She then rushed home gripping her keys as tightly as possible. So what should we include in a good summary? Valentina earned an A on history project. Her keychain flew off her finger and landed in the sewer grate. Valentina needed the keychain in order to get her soccer uniform. And, or Valentina held her hand, head in her hands as if she were going to give up. I would tell you that you are going to check off two... Very important pieces of information that need to be in a summary. You're going to do five, six, seven, and eight on your own. Good luck.